according to legend. The troubles caused by Majora's Mask were so great... The Ancient Ones, fearing such catastrophe, sealed the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. But now, that tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask. When I finally had it, I could sense the doom of a dark omen in brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. So why'd you get it? And now, the imp has it! I am begging you, you must get that mask back quickly or something horrible will happen! I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it! Really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine. Surely you can do it. Yeah, I... Believe in your strengths. Believe. Okay. Now that we've done that, let's get out of here. That mask! The Skull Kid uses the power of that mask to do those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we've got to do something about it. Swamp, mountains, ocean, and canyon that Tail was trying to tell us about. I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside town. There's one in each compass direction. But what do you suppose he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He always skips important stuff. I guess we should just go and find out. If we go through that gate straight ahead, we'll be heading in the direction of the swamp. Yes, but before we do that... Well, first of all... Let's show off that little nifty song that the Scarecrow hinted to us about. The one if we played backwards. You can play the inverted slow uh, song of time. Yes, let's slow the current flow of time. We can slow it. Now we'll be going as fast. In fact, it'll be used twice as slow. Twice as long. Oh, this owl here, you will want to hit. Hey, uh, yes. I should have checked it. Anyways. You can save your progress and quit here. When you re select your file, my face will appear by your file name. This indicates that the next time you reopen your file, you resume playing at the very place and time with your current status. So yes, this is a temporary save point. This isn't permanent. Warning, if you reopen this owl file and reset without saving an owl statue, you'll lose the progress you've saved here. So yeah, if you... This is a temporary save file. If you save at this owl, but then if you reopen it and then forget to save it by going back in time, turn off the game, when you reopen it, you'll be back into the first day. Yada, yada, yada. The next time you open the file, you'll start day one with the status you've had when you last saved using the Sonic Time. Take your progress up to this point and quit playing. No, I was just demonstrating something. Hey, let's continue. Let us come up here, shall we? And you'll notice that Tingle is floating up in the air on a balloon. What a weird guy. Anyways. Check these for rupees that... Ow, oh, fudge. Anyways. Let's come up here because we have a lovely heart piece awaiting... Oh, yes, okay. Uh-oh. Ah, okay. We got a heart piece. Yay! I forgot. We have to go find the stray fairy first. <laughs> uh. There are a few things you may want to do here first, before you actually leave for the swamp. I will show you what those are, in due time. Who's this kid? Why has he got a mask on? Mysterious, but probably not important. <laughs> wink wink. Hint hint. Please hear my plea. The masked skull kid has broken me apart and scattered my pieces. 
Please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in North Clock Town. Alright. Wow. He, he jumps quite far. But Link does not grow up to be any older in this game. Ocarina of Time, he does he switches between young Link and old Ink Link. Ink. Link. But in this one, he does not change age. What he does change, however, are his body. This is his body. I'll show you what I mean by that. He's already got one body, that's the Deku Scrub. But he gets several more. All with useful and necessary talents. Anyways, let's bring this fairy over here. Bring it back to its fellow stray fairies who will join together to become one. We get to meet the fairy again. Oh, Turtle, and you kind young one. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. Yeah, we met you before. For well, now, this is all I can offer you. Allow me to ease your weariness as a token of my gratitude. Right. That's not what we... You said that if we came back here in our normal form, you'd give us something worthwhile. Now, cough it up! What is it? Oh, kind young one. Scattered throughout the four temples of this land are broken straight fairies like me. Please find a way to save them and return them to their fountains. Surely they will add to your strength. Allow me to grant you something good so that the straight fairies will not fear you. A fairy's mask! Yay! Straight fairies will fly to you when you wear it. You'll know you're close to a fairy who's lost in a temple if the mask's hair begins to shimmer. Come see me whenever your quest has made you weary. Uh, only when I'm desperate. But we won't be getting desperate unless we get on with our quest now, will we? Anyways, now let me show you what else you might want to do before you leave. Let's come see this kid over here, who's a happily a skipping. If you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. What's the code? If I remember right, it was three, four, two, one, five. Yes. Um, that's right. If you know the code, then you remember, right? Okay, here you go. There's a lot of cool stuff at the Telescope Guy's place. Oh yeah, and, um, the Bomber Secret Society of Justice Forever. Bomber Secret Society of Justice Forever, or whatever. You come down here, you don't have to, but I guess you might as well. Um, no, you don't need to. You won't need to for a while. You could if you wanted to, but there's really no reason to. This is why you want to do that. Hey, guy, you haven't passed my test, so how do you know my secret code? Nobody but bombers know that code, so how do you know it? Listen, guy, you're pretty good. You managed to figure out a code that only we know. Now that's something. I like you. Okay. What's your name, guy? Link, huh? All right, that school kid broke our rules and is doing all kinds of stuff. For I'm making Link a new member of the Bombers instead. They couldn't make you a member before because you were a Deku Scrub. This is the Bombers Notebook. It contains the words we live by. Read it over. You got the Bombers Notebook. Hurrah! It allows you to keep track of people's schedules. Press start to access the quest status screen. Then highlight the notebook and press A to read it. Number one. Find troubled people and add their names and pictures. Only 20 people will fit in your book, and there's only people to find, so... Number two, promise to help them. Mark promises with promise stickers. Never be late with fulfilling your promises. Number three, whenever you solve someone's problem, it makes you happy, so a happy sticker will be added to your book. Number four, no removing stickers. Use promise stickers to keep track of people until everyone is happy. Don't forget the rules. 
Tattle, you tell that Skull Kid he's out of here. He's been acting like a real jerk lately. The Bombers of Secret Society of Justice was added to your notebook. You were taught the secret code. This was added to your notebook. Yay! Yeah, you probably want to have memorized it before you... You definitely want to memorize your code. But once you get this notebook, you don't need to memorize it. You can just refer to it if you ever forget. So, now that we've done all of that, how about we start going to the... Oh, who are these two? Hmm, we're the twin jugglers from the Gorman Troop. We're practicing for the carnival. Big carnival. It happens once in a blue moon. Or in this year's case, once in a really, really scary red-eyed moon. Ho, oh, oh, ho! I hear he's going to fall harder than the way my clumsy brother is always dropping our juggling balls. <laughs> you see, we're entertainers. We must keep people smiling, no matter how grim things get. We must always be optimistic. Ho, oh, 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 oh. Well, I guess that's a, an admirable profession. Make sure people are smiling. I like it when people are smiling too. Now this guy's going to be, this jerk is going to be blocking our way and we can't run past him. So let's talk to the guy. Stop right there. Have you some errand in the swamp? It is dangerous outside the town wall, so I cannot allow a child like you to... A sword? My apologies, sir. It was wrong of me to treat you like a child. The southern swamp at Woodfall lies in this direction. Be careful. Alright. You're forgiven. And here we are in Termina Field. This is not Hyrule, folks. We're not in Hyrule anymore. This is Termina. And we will meet some new enemies and friends and whatnot. This is a green choo-choo. It's nothing to be it's nothing to be afraid of. It usually has something in its stomach that's of use. Indeed. Mostly magic. You can cut these open. Make that old grass pay for its insolence. Oh yeah, the green ch the choo choos in general will just keep reappearing. But very useful if you're in rooms that need require certain items. I'll show you the, that later. What is this? It's a drawing of the Skull Kid. What's a drawing of the Skull Kid doing on this tree? Oh, I remember this. Tell and I drew this with the Skull Kid when we first met him. He told us that he had been fighting with his friends and that they had left him all alone. I would imagine. It was a dark and stormy night. The two fairies were trying to find solitude, a sanctuary to keep out of the rain. They thought they had found the perfect spot. But when they entered the log, what did they find? A shivering skull kid with a birdie beak and glowing eyes. Oh, they kept each other warm through the dark, stormy night. How sweet. No wonder they bonded. Whatever happened? This song is always... I love this song. <laughs> you scared poor tail! Oh, that's how that drawing got on there. Skull Kid drew it. I'm sure it was because he was always playing tricks, so nobody wanted to play with him. But to do what he did just because of that... I didn't know this, but apparently he knocked the, ma uh, the Happy Mask Salesman out. The Happy Mask Salesman. And once he got his power... Yeah. 
Apparently, he knocked the Happy Mask Salesman out. It wasn't that he found that the Happy Mask Salesman sleeping on the ground, which I thought would be appropriate for him. 